I'm Kevin Coleman with the Santa Post, and I am with Lieutenant Colonel Bob Leach. Yes, sir. And we've got uh, several things happening on this Memorial Day weekend. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. First of all, I'm uh, dressed today as a member of the Ross County Veterans Honor Guard. It's an honor to be a part of that unit. And we just did a dedication of a bench to the memory of those who were in the service and uh, during their time in the service or later found reason to take their own lives. And we're remembering those people and the struggles they had and hope that something like that may keep people from doing similar acts in the future. You got the bench right this, here? This bench right here. I want you to, uh, viewers to see that the uh, spearhead behind it was the Ross County Suicide Prevention Coalition. Uh, Jan Corzine uh, kind of headed up the effort to do that. And, uh, and he suicide has always been a problem for the military, but recently it has been uh, recognized as a legitimate uh, illness and help is offered where it used to be the attitude of the military was, well, suck it up and you know, you'll, you'll get over this. So the things I want to talk about today, uh, first of all, is the events on Monday, Memorial Day. At 9 o'clock a.m., the Ross County Veterans Honor Guard will be in Grandview Cemetery, and in conjunction with the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, we will be firing three volleys to uh, remember our honored dead and playing taps. And then the Sons of Union veterans will then take people to different headstones and uh, graves in that cemetery of people that were significant during the Civil War. At 9.30, the Honor Guard will be at St. Margaret's Cemetery and do the same thing, fire three volleys into the air and then play taps on the bugle. 10 o'clock at Green Lawn Cemetery, specifically Soldier's Circle, which was just cleaned a couple of weeks ago by Chillicothe Monument and uh, Chillicothe Memorial and Hardy Monument with the help of almost 90 volunteers. We were thrilled to have them. Um, at 10.30, the, okay, got my time off a little bit, so let me go back. Uh, 10 o'clock is Green Lawn Soldier's Circle. 10.15 is Green Lawn Soldier's Square. And then departure from there, 1045 approximately, will be the three volleys and the plane of taps at Floral Hill Cemetery, which is south of Chillicothe, off of Route 23, south of Masseyville. At 1130, we will be in Hallsville as part of their program. And the Honor Guards portion is what I have talked about already, three volleys and taps. And then at 1230 is the... Uh, ceremony in Roland Cemetery which is across from the entrance to the pro to the fairgrounds so those are uh, that's the schedule for Memorial Day and we'd like people to uh, come to any of those cemeteries that they feel connected to perhaps if they have a loved one buried in that cemetery and then the next week is the hundredth anniversary of the Chillicothe VA and there are a number of events scheduled for that week at the Chillicothe VA. And specifically, I want to mention Saturday, June 1st is Veterans Appreciation Day. And the VA always has a big crowd for Veterans Appreciation Day. But with this being the 100th anniversary, they're expecting thousands of people to be here for that, many from out of town. Um, it will include uh, free admission to the paints game for all veterans, a free meal at the paints game for veterans, and a number of uh, static displays of military equipment, vendors, and other things at the uh, VA for that event. Finally, June 2nd, which is a Sunday, from 1 o'clock until 4 o'clock at Greenlawn Cemetery, the Chillicothe Restoration Foundation, in conjunction with the Veterans of Foreign Wars, is hosting the event, Greenlawn Notable Souls Military Edition. And there are over 50 military graves in Greenlawn Cemetery, specifically of people who died during the wars, World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, and were brought back to, v to Greenlawn Cemetery for burial. And most notable of those, of course, we have many victims of the Camp Sherman flu, in court, including some that were from right here in Ross County and went to Camp Sherman just a few miles from their home and 
uh, contracted the Spanish influenza and died and were buried in Greenlawn Cemetery. Um, there's an unknown soldier from that pandemic that is buried in Greenlawn Cemetery. Uh, a German prisoner of war that is buried just outside of Soldier's Circle. And most well known and most important of the Greenlawn burials is the three Denowitz brothers who lost their lives during World War II. Two in the Army, one in the Navy, and that was the only family in Ohio to lose three sons in either World War I or World War II. And so that is a highlight of the tour that will be on the 2nd of June from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Um, people who uh, show up for that tour, the price for the tour is $10 for an individual, $15 for a family, and included with that is a free book that tells the story of each of those 57 graves, uh, 57 military personnel who lost their lives in the war. And to be clear, this is Green Lawn Cemetery, not Grandview. Right. I think it's easiest to remember, this is the uh, cemetery that doesn't have a lot of hills in it, and it's off of Eastern Avenue, as opposed to being up on uh, Carlisle Hill on Bellevue Avenue. That's Grandview Cemetery. And we did that there before. This is the companion piece in Greenlawn. And Grandview will be uh, the start of Memorial Day, and Greenlawn will be a part of it, but the walking tour the next weekend will be Greenlawn right, only. Right, specifically Greenlawn Cemetery. All right. so, thank you for the time. It was great to uh, tell everybody about the events we have scheduled in the next week and a half. And if I may mention, I'm offering a walking tour of the, the history and geology of Grandview um, this, this Sunday and then in a couple weeks on June, uh, I think, June 6th. Okay. So, always, I always like to compliment the uh, Memorial Day events there and give people uh, the other side of the story. All right, well, Lieutenant Colonel Bob Leach, I don't remember your entire title. Okay. Um, I serve Ross County as a member of the Ross County Veterans Commission, and I'm also the quartermaster of Post 108 of the Veterans of Foreign Wars. And very active in local uh, veterans' history and activities. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.